Hello guys, so in this video we will see what is the difference between template binding and relative source templated parent. You have seen this code where a template binding keyword is used and you have also seen this code somewhere where a templated parent is used and then you are confused where to use one over the other. So to understand this, uh, let's see in what scenario we use these two concepts. A template binding is an optimized form of a binding for template scenarios and it is analogous to binding constructed with relative source templated parent so both these two concepts are used in templated scenarios and template binding is an optimized form let's go to visual studio to understand this in detail so i have a button you can see it from the visual and we understood that both these concepts are used in template scenarios so with control template I can uh, modify how a control visually looks. So let's write the template, control template. And then uh, let's modify it to ellipse. The moment I write root ellipse, you see the visual change to ellipse. And then let's give it a fill property and red. You see, I, I changed the control template of my button. Now if I'll give the background which is there in the button let's say black and see it is not working why because you have now written a control template now you have uh, overridden this background property because of this control template what I want to do is I want to control the background from this templated parent itself this is control template and this is parent to which this control template will be applied to so how to do so it means I need to bind this background to this fill. So these two concepts can be used here. So let's use the first one. Uh, binding relative source and then relative source and then uh, templated uh, parent and then you bind it to background. Okay, you see now this black is coming into picture. Let's change it to blue. You see it is working. So I bound this background to fill using templated parent now I can achieve this using template binding also so template binding and then background but you see the background I'm not able to find it out why because I need to give the target type here so give the target type button and then you will be able to find the background so now you see I achieved the same, same thing that I achieved using relative source templated parent. So let's give it to black. Now it is working. But here, as it was resolved at compile time, that's why I needed to give the target type. And uh, if we'll talk about the previous one, I have copied it earlier. Here, if you'll we'll remove this target type, still it will work. Okay. So now let's come back to the slide. So we have uh, covered this point that a template binding is evaluated at compile time against the type and the binding markup is resolved at runtime. That's the advantage. Now let's come on to the next difference. A template binding is always a one-way binding, even if properties involved default to two-way binding. So let's come to Visual Studio to understand this concept in detail. So I want to modify the control template of this button to a text box. So let's write text box and then uh, bind the text property of the text box to the content of the button. I want my button to behave like a text box. I can modify this using control temp. And uh, here the text is bound with the content. So content is the source and text is the target. So source will update the target. But target will not update the source because template binding is a one-way mode binding now to see this in action let me uncomment this piece of code i have one more text box and the text of this text box is bound with the content of the button itself now if a button here say it is my button it will update the text and it will also update the text of this text box but when we modify this text then this will not update the content and that's why 
the text of the text box this text box will not be updated so let's run this and then we'll have a clear idea of what's going on here so yeah I have this UI let me minimize this so that you can also see uh, what is there in the code so this text box is this control template text box and this text box is this so let's write here one two three and then I have modified the text of this text box and then click somewhere so it modified the content of this button because it was bound, bound to the content and then this content was the source for this text box so it modified the text of this text box now let's write something here like four five six now I am writing in the text of this text box so this will not update the content and that's why this text will not be updated so let's click somewhere you see it is not updated and that's why it is a one-way mode binding now to prove this that the relative source templated palette is a two-way binding let's uh, write let's bind it using a uh, relative source so relative source then relative source and then uh, templated uh, parent and then path equals to content let's run the same piece of code now okay let's minimize this again see this to understand this okay now let's modify this one two three again I am modifying this text now let's click somewhere so the text got updated because content got updated and in turn text got updated so this behavior was there with the templated uh, template binding also now let's something here in this text box so I have written in the text of this text box so this updated the content now the target is also updating the source that's why this content is updating that this text also let's click somewhere you see it is working so it's a two-way mode and also with uh, relative source templated parent uh, you can write here converter also this is very powerful uh, of course you can take the content and if it is matching a specified word then you want to do something you can convert it also this is also one more advantage with uh, the templated parent binding markup extension Let's come to the slide. So with this, uh, we are finished with this concept. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.